RadicalPrep.com. How's it going, everybody? We've got question 13 here from the free practice PDF test. And it goes like this. If H is the hypotenuse of triangle CDE, what is the area of square ABCD in terms of H? Okay, so we've got a lot of variables here and uh, a variable here. So you could plug in a number for H and go through the problem. I'm going to do it algebraically here just to show you that it's not always bad to do things algebraically and, and there's actually, you know, it's, it's actually not that bad. So let's take a look here. We've got <clears throat> uh, a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And I know that because they gave me the 90 here and the other 45. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in that other 45 degrees there. And that helps us out because in a 45, 45, 90, I'm just going to write that down, but we've got a rule that relates the hypotenuse and the sides. If I have the hypotenuse and I want to find a side, or a leg is probably a better word, I'm actually going to divide by radical 2. If you had a side or a leg, let me ask you this, how do you think I'd find the hypotenuse? Well, you'd multiply by radical 2. Okay, so in this case we have the hypotenuse, so we're just going to divide by radical 2. So that means each one of those legs is h divided by radical 2. h divided by radical 2. And I'm not going to get crazy here, you know, with rationalizing the denominator. When I say that, I mean, you know, in school they usually say, don't leave a radical in the, in the denominator. And you'd have to kind of do this process out. I'm going to say just ignore that for right now because we're going to try and do the least work possible to get it right. Okay, so we know this side is h over radical 2. And that's one side of the square, and so is that side. So sides of squares are equal, right? They're all the same length. So that's h over radical 2. So now, what does the question want to know? What is the area of the square? So the area of the square is just going to be length times width, or side times side. So we've got h over radical 2 times h over radical 2. Well, let's see what that gives us. We just multiply across, right? That's how you multiply fractions. h squared, radical 2 times radical 2 is just 2. And we can rewrite that if we wanted to as 1 half h squared. But either one of these is correct. And there it is, choice A. OK, so you don't always have to put things in, in, you know, don't always have to rationalize denominators. We can actually get through this problem pretty easily if we just know this rule. This is probably yeah, the most important rule to know. And that's if you have the hypotenuse, divide by radical 2 to get a leg or side. If you've got a side, multiply by radical 2 to get the hypotenuse. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Uh, if you need any more help prepping, you can definitely visit my website at RadicalPrep.com. Take care.